Now, he's a character, he's a funny man, he does come up with some wonderful lines, you know, the moving the bed, moving the goalpost line, he's going to go down in history as one of the most crass things that a minister has ever said in public. And I'm sure he's very proud of it. And we're talking about the same man who on the subject of global warming and climate change, he said, oh, well, it'll be nice and hot, which means that the farmers can grow more crops. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it can only be a joke, sure. I had pages of things I was going to say, but it's all been entirely preempted by the fact that I got this email passed on by Dominic this morning, and I think this says so much in the words of people who are really, really involved. And I do want to stress that time and time again. I'm afraid this is about people as well. Not afraid. It is about people as well. It's about the morality and the truth and so on and so forth. And the organisation and the knowledge of the two sides. And there's no question that this side, if you like, and all the wonderful NGOs up and down the country and all the people who have been against the coal and have come together in a wonderful spirit of cooperation. I think that is, in a funny sort of way, it's a bit like war spirit. It's one of the good things that has come out of it. It wasn't necessary, but that's what came out of it. And I hope the public have sort of taken that on board and thought these people know what they're talking about, they feel strongly, they're not so just sort of uh, out of control activists or anything like that. They're a terrific organisation. I don't mean any one NGO, I mean the whole flipping lot of you, okay? And I, I say, I got this email from some people down in Somerset who are part of Somerset Call so I'm going to read this. They asked me if they would, and uh, it personalises in many ways. And I think it might bring back to you, I know many of you would have been on some of the watches, but exactly what it was like to be out there. Um, they say, as observers and protesters who went into the coal zone every night and can testify that the compliance reports released recently by Natural England only scratched the surface of what went on. The industry-led coal was a shambles in so many ways. This is important, this is answering um, accusations by local MPs. And they say, we are not the scroungers and misfits that some pro-coal MPs like to portray us. How on earth would they know? None of them took up our offer to come and meet us. If they had come, they'd have had a bit of a surprise. We are not for rent. We are not scroungers or layabouts. Instead, we encompass a whole range of professions and interests with a common goal. We are people that are acting according to strongly held principles against the coal that was unjust, unscientific, inhumane and ineffective. And we've got questions for these pro-coal MPs. Why did you mislead Parliament and the public by using false information to justify the killing? Why did you bend the facts to suit a policy you'd already decided upon? Why were you so opposed to vaccinating badges with, with scientifically proven beneficial effects? And why were you so hell-bent on killing them? I think those are very important questions because there aren't any sensible answers to any of those questions. Basically, it was perverse. Most of us want to go to bed at a reasonable hour. We don't want to be out all night registering our objection to people shooting and killing badgers for no good reason. But rest assured, if they did start killing badgers again this year, and that's now, as Mr. Patterson has threatened to do, badgers, ordinary people, young and old, will oppose them all night long, as long as it takes, again. Yeah. Yeah. Surely by now, after petitions, public consultations and media attention, the government could see that the coal policy, along with their whole attitude, is successfully alienating many who are typical of Middle England. Very true. We were promised by some of those supporting the coal that free shooting would be humane. It's been proved to fail. Cage trapping is only humane if the operators put welfare considerations first. But who checked this? Nature England's monitoring was totally inadequate. We were told time and again that the pilot coals were to test free shooting and see whether it was effective and safe and humane at removing at least 70% of the badges in an area. Now the compliance reports from Natural England show that large-scale cage trapping was implied from the very beginning. Another lie. We have been fed lies. These coals were clearly not trials, they were simply an underhand way of starting to kill badgers legally. We know that Wales, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Australia, the States and New Zealand have all got falling rates of BTB. 
But the only thing that they actually have in common is a regime of regular and effective cattle testing, cattle movement, restrictions, and improved biosecurity. Yeah, yeah.